I received an ABTA Basic Research Fellowship in honor of Paul Fabry. The impact of brain tumors, the way that I look at it is that other cancers affect um, different parts of your organs, but the problem with brain tumors is that it's affecting your brain. And when it affects your brain, that affects your personality, your likes, your dislikes, your memories. So that brain tumor is robbing the patient of their life. So I feel that it's really important to really help maintain that patient's personality in order, instead of just removing the tumor, we really want to help the quality of life um, for the brain tumor patients. It is really an exciting time in neuro-oncology. Over just the last five or six years, substantial progress has been made in the molecular profiles, the genetic abnormalities that make this tumor tick. So we've actually started more and more interactions with the clinicians in the translational aspect per patient, per tumor, so that we can really have potential cures for these tumors and these patients. Receiving an uh, ABTA award um, has been an incredible honor and incredibly humbling experience. Uh, the fact that I am a basic scientist, I don't see patients on a regular basis. So having the support of the ABTA really solidifies the relationship between the patients and the scientists. We have the clinicians in between, so I feel that the support of the ABTA really helps facilitate this entire environment to really provide a cure for patients. If I had one thing to say to an ABTA donor, it is thank you. Every research dollar counts, no matter how little or how much. Research can be extremely expensive, and the amount of money that comes from ABTA, patients, families, donors, adds up in a huge way that can lead to one discovery, two discoveries, that can lead to potential therapies, potential drugs, and potential cures, and thank you.